I was asked a question in the TikTok comments about crossweight and uh, what I mean about right rear heavy. And we'll go over that right quick. Um, crossweight is just a percentage that your right front and left rear tire carries compared to the total weight of the car. Um, in a real basic, say our car just weighed the same, we got a 3,000 pound car, and this is your left front, right front, left rear, right rear tires, is looking at the car, looking down at it. Um, we're gonna weigh 750 pounds on all four tires. And that's gonna give us a 3,000 pound car. And that's what we'll use throughout the, the video here. So in this instance, the right front and left rear add up to 1,500 pounds. Total weight's 3,000. And that's going to come out to 0 0.50 or 50%, 0 0.5, half, 50%. Um, so a car that's perfectly balanced has 50% cross weight in it. Now, we're going to do things a little different. Um, I got me a cheat sheet up here. So, we're, we're gonna put, say this car has 53% left side, and 53% rear. And those are actually decent numbers. I mean, that's something that I would run. Uh, and this is gonna be, what the what it breaks down to so as we gained rear and we gained left and this this is still a 50 percent crossweight car 840 and 660 still adds up to 1500 pounds so um that's that's still a 50 percent crossweight car um since we gained left and we gained rear, we're 90 pounds left rear heavy right here. We're 90 pounds left rear heavy and still 50% cross weight. So while left rear heavy and right rear heavy, like we're talking about the same thing by in the car, it is a little different. Uh, when a person says, you know, I'm 90 pounds left rear heavy, or I run 20 pounds right rear heavy, that's a pretty basic, like you're telling them what your split is between the left rear and the right rear, but you're not giving any more info out about this. And cross weight was real popular when I started racing 30 years ago. Crossweight was a real common term. Um, then we went through, people seemed to just talk more about bite. And then now, like, they do spring smashers and stuff, and I, I haven't even got to that level, so I'm not the person to ask about that. Anyway, this is a 50% crossweight car. We. 53 left and 53 rear and it's 90 pounds left rear heavy we're going to keep it at 53 rear 53 left and 3,000 pounds but we're only going to run 48 percent cross weight so really this would be a little looser car should be uh, there's a caveat to that too but um
But even at 48%, this car is still 30 pounds left rear heavy. Seven, 810 minus 780. It's 30 pounds left here, heavy at 48%. Um, I run some cars right rear heavy sometimes, and it's not that I loosen them up that much. I probably don't run quite as much left side weight as some people do. But this is still, you're adding, I'm missing a zero there. You're adding this total weight, which we're staying the same at 3,000. And now we've got only 1,440 across here instead of 1,500. And it's the same way. We're dividing that by 3,000, getting 48%. Now we're, we're gonna move it up. We're gonna say a tighter car, 52%. We're looking at 720, 690, 870, and 720. So here, we're 50 pounds left rear heavy. But when you go and you're talking to a person and you just tell them you're 50 pounds left rear heavy without telling them what other percentages you run. Like I say, you're just not giving them much info. It is very common for me to run closer to um, and I don't know what this is going to add up to but something like that across the back, even up. If I don't know a car, I might even be running like 830, eight, let's say 820 over here and 780 here to start with. Our, all that does is I know I only have to work one direction basically. I'm not going to need any more right rear in this car, any more right rear weight than, than 40 pounds right rear heavy. That's overkill. So. I, a lot of times you're gonna go in and test with this thing or your first laps in it, and it's gonna plant this right rear too hard. It's gonna shove the nose on entry, maybe in the center a little bit, and you can work back. But if I start this thing at, you know, 51% cross weight, I start at 40 pounds left rear heavy or something, 35, 40. Sometimes I don't know what my first move should be and maybe that's my fault or whatever but i just like i like starting at an extreme and knowing that i'm going to go the other direction with it instead of starting in the middle and trying to figure out which direction i want to go in uh, just uh, there's a little less decision that way you know what's happening so basically that's crossway that's left rear or right rear heavy as a new person coming into the sport um, if you're running a, a car without weight jacks or anything in it, uh, to get more cross weight, you're going to put a bigger right front on it. So the right front and left rear get more, more pressure on it. Um, smaller right front takes it away. Bigger left front takes it away. Smaller left front puts it in. You get back here to the back. If you're running in most dirt divisions, have a locker, not all, but most are uh, a spool, not a locker necessarily. Uh, smaller left rear is gonna take cross away, which should in general loosen you up. And it's also gonna give you less stagger. The circumference of this tire is smaller than this. That helps you turn. So this one goes smaller. Um, it's gonna increase cross weight and take stagger out, which is gonna make it where it doesn't want to turn quite as easy. So these adjustments are bigger back here, kind of naturally, if you're changing it. If you really need to loosen something up, you can change the stagger and put smaller, and it's taking cross weight away. It's giving you more stagger. 
smaller adjustments up front here. If you want to take wedge out, smaller right front, more wedge, bigger right front, opposite for left front. And that's kind of the basics here in a nutshell, I guess. And uh, thank you for the question. It's kind of fun doing these. So uh, I hope somebody learned something, I guess. And if I got any of that wrong, let me know in the comments. Thank y'all.